What's going on, guys? It's Wombro, and I hope you are doing well. And wow, there are many of you that have entered the giveaway. I am so happy to see the success of this. If you haven't entered yet, I will leave a link in the description where you can. Today's video is about the best running times for you individually. Now that I have been playing for a month and nearly learned everything about the game, aside from pro my progression, I have been thinking about the other players and how they should be running based off of their mining power, so I will dive deep into this topic. Before I start, there is a very informative picture I'd like to share with you. So here it is. It is a picture of Wombat Dungeon Master's Season 2 plan, and if we zoom in here, you can see that we are nearing the end of the season. It will end on May 11th, and you will cash out the day after, which I will also be making a video on how to cash out. There will also be a pack drop on the 16th, and then Season 3 will officially start on May 18th, followed with a mining power update in which I hope our mining power increases again. Increases again. Okay, so, on to the video. The best running times for you. Once again, this is my opinion, so if you have any additional thoughts or have more knowledge about how people should be running individually, please comment. I'd like everyone to play to the, the best of their ability. So, there is three things it comes down to with this topic. Comfort, effort, and mining power. So, with comfort, if you feel comfortable with running every five minutes, so be it. Nothing wrong with that, and you will over time accumulate more. But if you are looking for a more chill, relaxed style of gameplay, the one or six hour runs are perfect. Something I will add, I suggest that you do not do 24 hour runs. That is, unless you know that you won't be able to run that day or you are on vacation, it's best to stick within the five to six hour runs. Um, the next thing is effort. Now, I'm sure many of you have played a certain video game that you cherish for many years. Well, this game has only been out for less than half a year, but I see myself playing this game for the following years to come, and I am hyped. What I'm saying is, if I'm going to play this game for years, then I am in no rush for my progression. I have grinded many video games for years, and I know when it comes to grinding in a game, a steady balance will always get you to the next level. But, if you happen to be in a rush, well, any timed run is doable for you. Once again, it's the effort and mindset of what you want your goals to be in the game for the long run. And the last is mining power. So, I'd like to update you with how I have been doing my runs, because from the last time I talked about it in my best method to play video, things have changed. Lately, I have been a bit more busy in my life, and even one hour runs I can no longer efficiently do, so, as of today, I mainly do 6 hour runs with a timer, and whatever time is left on the chest if I am available, I will try to run the time equal on the chest. I do this because of my high mining power. No matter what, the rewards will generously pay me in my, eye, will pay me in my eyes and I am pleased with it. And I now see my pattern of how long it takes for me to level up. So, on average, it takes 3-4 to four days for me to level up. I have found my goals and comfort within the game to where it's almost natural every time I log in and that's what I really want for all the other players to feel like in due time. So now, I am talking to the new players who just started or ones that are still filling their dungeon. I suggest that your primary focus is leveling up. Every time you level up, your mining power increases at a percentage. And that is how you can gain more without needing additional NFTs. As long as you keep playing, you will continue to earn more. It's that simple. And that was the video. I hope this helped you understand what choice of run times you should be picking. I'd like to end with saying thank you for the 100 subscribers. That is so awesome. And I can't wait to see what's to come for Wombro. And if you haven't joined the Discord yet... I graciously invite you to join. I have made many good friends, and it has enlightened my soul. Um, I didn't write this one out because last night it happened, but around 8.52 p.m., my significant other gave birth to my second daughter. 
I'm so happy and I was there for it all. Um, I may be a bit more busy, but I'll be uploading as usual. So yeah, I'll be seeing you guys later. You have a wonderful day. Peace.